All right, we're back here at the glass face pump demo to go over minimum submergence. Uh, minimum submergence, as we discussed uh, before, is when the liquid level is close enough to the entrance point of the suction pipe, that atmosphere, which is always there to try to help uh, force the liquid into the pump, actually cheats the system, makes a, 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 a void in the liquid uh, level and enters the suction of the pump and actually air binds the pump. So the air enters the suction of the pump, uh, engulfs itself around the impeller, and then we lose pump performance because I'm trying to pump air instead of uh, liquid. So we can simulate that with this. Uh, right now I have the, the liquid level in this uh, sump just on the hairy edge of being at minim the minimum submergence point. And so what I've got is another bucket in here where I can uh, change the level in the sump real easily and drop it beyond the point of minimum submergence. And then what you'll see is what the effects are of that when atmosphere penetrates the surface of the liquid and enters the pump. So here we go. I can completely almost airbind the pump to the point where it can't perform whatsoever. And you'll notice this, this shows up in the suction and the discharge because the pump is constantly trying to move both liquid and air at the same time. And so the pump performance is, is drastically changed. And now when I drop this bucket back in here and raise the sump level back above the minimum submergence point, you can see that the pump kind of goes back to a pretty good operation. So when we talk about minimum submergence, what do we do in the case of tank unloading, right? The whole point of what we're trying to do is to get all of the liquid out, but if we constantly cross the minimum threshold of minimum submergence, we'll never get the tank empty. So in this case, let's say we're pumping out a tanker truck, and as the tanker gets more and more empty, all of a sudden our pump crosses the line of minimum submergence. So I'm constantly in air, air binding my pump, air training the product, but I still need to get the rest of that out of the tanker truck. How can I do that successfully with the same pump? Well, with the VFT, which we have included in this demo, if you slow the pump down as you're getting lower and lower in level on the tanker truck, you can see that you can still pump out the rest of the liquid without crossing the minimum submergence threshold. And there will be a point of no return, but you're gonna get a lot more out of that tanker truck in that transfer time uh, than you would just fighting the air entrainment and the constant uh, minimum submergence condition. So uh, when you're doing tanker unloading or tank unloading, it might be a good idea to have a VFD involved uh, with that pump so that you can change the speed of the pump based upon the level in the tank to get it fully unloaded.